It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Bills and the Bengals. And it's coming up next on Madden Football. From the banks of the Ohio River, there's a look at Paul Brown Stadium here in Cincinnati, Ohio. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Buffalo Bills and the Cincinnati Bengals. Set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And we are underway from Cincinnati. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here come the Bengals now to take over. They'll be led out by the seventh overall pick in 2018 from Wyoming. It's Josh Allen. And in this league, there are many quarterbacks who have their most success running the ball while there are others who have big arms. There aren't too many guys who can do both. And at the end of many games, this guy leads his team not just in passing, but in rushing as well. Here's Allen on first and ten. Got him in. It's Brown. And they're able to get this one across the 35. And we see the emphasis early here. Get your star receiver involved. Able to do it successfully. Not a bad start to begin with, that's for sure. And to me, this play says our guy is better than your guy's up. Because you know a player of his stature, he won't just be single covered all game long. It's going to involve multiple people. And right away, they told the other team, guess what? He's just better. And he put up a good fight, but he's going to be taken down behind the line of scrimmage. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage if he breaks through it's nothing but room to run <laughs> now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss now allen this one grabbed by aj green and he'll be taken down but not before he works it past the 50. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 47. And to give this time to the tailback. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front. Because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. From the 44, Allen over the middle, and it's incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. Allen now looks to throw. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone, and there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And out of bounds, sailed over, looked like right near the pylon. This one's going to be perfect. Directional kicking at its finest right down at the one-yard line. So here are the Bills now, backed up to get this drive started. And leading them out there, we get a look at their 6-3 quarterback. 
So this is where we find out about the game plan and the trust factor, don't we? In this situation, the natural thing is take care of the ball, run it inside, everyone cover it. Just, you know, get yourself some room and let your punter punt it out of there. But when you've really got a QB you can trust, you might want to take a little shot early and try and create some space. Fights off the defender. And he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. And give him a lot of credit there, but even more credit to the guys up front. In that situation, you know it's going to be a stacked defensive front. And to be able to gain that much yardage, that's a big win for the guys on offense. Yeah, they were just about standing on their own goal line, so to get a few yards there, a great start. Now we'll see what second down breaks. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. third down it's Thomas and he is going to have the first down as he's up to his own 13 yard line big conversion they were backed up deep to start the drive able to pick up the first so the goal is at least a first down here right pick up a first down give yourself some breathing room and if you have to punt after that maybe you've helped with field position and you've helped out your defense and avoided a three and out on their opening drive <laughs> From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. They run with Thomas. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 12-yard line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Out routes are always timing routes. And if the timing's off just a little bit, it can really throw off a play. It looked like he led him a little too much there. Yeah, there was a fraction of a second because he caught it, just couldn't stay in bounds. On third down, Hostetler. And that will be incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. Bills send the punter out, standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. A big kick, 50 yards that time with a return of four. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. On first down. It's Woods, and this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage.
First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Throwing now is Allen. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. Throwing his Allen on third. And caught right side, Green. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. Well, the good thing about covering any game I do with you is I know that there's no problem with rhythm. Now, what we're watching offensively, a little bit of a problem there. Yeah, punt on the first drive, looking at another one here. Just a little slow. It, you know, they, they were talking about a fast start, but that hasn't been the case. Yeah, and let's face it. Any team we cover always talks about a That's fast true. start. That's true. But it's not necessarily going to happen just because they say so. And whether it's the script, whether it's, you know, just what they're going through, whether they're seeing different defenses, they're going to have to figure it out as this game moves on. Just 34 yards on the punt there. No return. And the Bills will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and 10. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air. A fight for it, and this is caught. It's caught indeed. We're scoreless after one. The Bills with the football as we start quarter number two, as they've got it with a first and ten. counter Thomas give him maybe a yard quite the opposite from the previous big gainer and that's the type of play that'll fire up the defense hold them to one yard on a first down run It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play second and nine back to throw Hostetler Oh, look at Thomas wide open. And they do get him down, but not before he's Let's able go, to man. slip it Let's inside go. the five-yard line. Boy, how about the speed with which his offense can get down the field? It's taking him no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up for the first and goal. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. This is Thomas. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. That run didn't get very far, and I think when you're looking at his dimensions, he's a little bit on the smaller side. He's counting on the big guys up front to escort him in, and they couldn't create any kind of space for him, could they? Yeah, didn't get the push they needed. From the two now, second and goal. Looking to throw. Hostetler. That's going to be caught by Reed. Touchdown, Buffalo. Two yards on the touchdown there as his guys are first onto the scoreboard here this afternoon. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Now the try here for the extra point. And it's 7-0 Buffalo. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it culminates in a Bills touchdown.
The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Jennings now on the return. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Cincinnati set to take over once again. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. On play action, Allen. Rolling to his left. And Allen will have the first down as he's able to slide to avoid the contact at the end. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. They'll run on first down. It's Woods. And he's going to have just a couple here with a marker on the field as well. So on the big tight end, holding. Each and every year, we talk about very few tight ends coming into the league that are polished blockers or asked to do it a lot in college. So it's a constant struggle and a constant fight to learn how to do it without holding. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. To the air, Allen. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, You've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. Throwing on second and long. Allen. He's got a man complete. The 20. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. Well, in this league where coordinators worry so much about drawing up the right routes, blocking assignments, misdirections and stuff, they have these precise arrows and movements. Sometimes the best plays just come from the schoolyard where you look at your fastest guy and say, go long, go get it, big man. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And we are tied here in the second quarter. they get set to take over here. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Play fake here on first down. And this is going to be incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. 
So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Back to throw. Hostetler, it's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. On third down, it's Thomas. And he's going to run into a pretty on third and short, and yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first down. Well, we got beef eaters licking their chops and tasty dish in one fell swoop. I did apologize in advance, didn't I? Well, you did. That line's not eating tofu, I'll tell you that much for free. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. 42 yards on the punt, just two on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Now this Bengals offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown. Now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. First down, it's Woods, and he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. That's well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted right. up at seven. Right. Here we go, D. You're a star. Reminder coming up in a couple of minutes' time. We'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman, the coach in our EA Sports studios. They'll have a look back at the next-gen stats from this first half of action. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Allen. This will be caught by Brown. And he's going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route with plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers go, and grab go. the completion for a really good pickup. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Allen to throw it. Dancing to his left. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Second and four. Here's Allen, and that one's going to be off target and incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free, and there's another example, another incompletion. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. To throw, it's Allen. 
He's going to loft one deep left side here. And this is caught inside the five. And the way in for a Cincinnati score. So there is the big arm of Josh Allen on display. He can throw it as deep as anybody, and that was an absolute laser. And you'd think on third down, they'd just be looking for something right beyond the sticks. And I think they caught the defense flat-footed as a result because they decided they were going to take a shot right there, and it ended up being a big play. And McPherson on for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So the drive there, five plays, 80 yards. And it's finished off with a Cincinnati touchdown. to the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And this will not be returned, it's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. The Bills gonna take over now, late in this first half. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get in the field goal range. down. Hostetler. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And this throw will be intercepted. Picked off down at the 10. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So they took their shot. It was a pretty good heave, but in the end, the free safety is the one who comes away with the football. And two of the traits that you look for in a good free safety, range and decision making. Both on display right there. And it didn't hurt that he's got a good pair of hands, too. The Bengals going to take over late in this first half. And with a seven-point lead, they'll likely look to take this to the locker room and not really press the issue. So after the INT, it's Allen powering forward and able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. Good start, throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. They'll run on first down. It's Woods. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. So we've reached halftime here in the Queen City, and it's the Bengals leading this one. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed down version of the EA Sports halftime report first though let's get a check on the next gen stats from that first half for the bills and i can imagine the halftime discussions are about how can we improve the running game they have not had success so far and it's reflected on the scoreboard and meanwhile for the bengals you get a look at what they were able to do throwing the football and whatever they've done it's worked as they have the lead through two quarters of play all right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point.
The Bills trail here, but they will get the football first as we are back underway on EA Sports. Takes it at the 7. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Well, the Bills offense set to take over to begin quarter number three. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. They run the counter. Thomas, and he'll work this forward for about three at second down. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road in just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? On first down, it's Thomas. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. It's going to bring up second and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Second and 11 now. Looking to throw. Hostetler firing quickly here, and that's complete. That'll wind up as a loss on the play, so now they're staring at a third down and 12. has it and he went nowhere well, he went backwards back to the 33 they'll wind up losing three here on the play and that'll bring up fourth down the whole idea of the screen pass is to fool the defense in a big way and create a big play they weren't fooled not one <laughs> second not one bit how about them figuring it out diagnosing it and spilling it for lost yardage the bills send the punter out as he'll come on to kick this one away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The offense about ready to go here on their next drive. On first down, Allen. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be corralled well off the field right around the 40 yard line. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. 
Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. And he'll give it here to his running back. Now he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking. And that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before, they always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. On second and very short, Allen, and that's caught left side, it's Woods. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch, I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Allen now on first down. And Green with a catch left side. Oh, nice move. <laughs> He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. Just shy of the 20. And CD, we have seen some great runs the last few times we've been together, but I think we can at least put this one in our top five. That was a determined gallop there. Yeah, and that's a run born out of ferociousness. He took on that initial contact and in his mind just screamed, out of my way, and kept right on going and wound up turning it into a big play. They'll run on first down. It's Woods, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Woods, and he'll get this one down to about the 17. He'll pick up only a yard there, and it'll leave him with a third and seven. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Cincinnati. It's the Bengals in possession of the football and in possession of the lead as well as we start the fourth. Now the Bengals on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and seven. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to come up well short as they rally up to stop him at about the 16. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself as we just saw there. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. McPherson's kick is good. And they will move up by 10 now, 17 to 7. So that CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. Here's McPherson now to send it away.
And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Buffalo set to get the football back here. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. Sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. The bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they keep handing it to him. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. To throw on third down, Hostetler. And boy, he is very close to a first down with where they're spotting that football. He's going to be a foot or so short. He'll go down as a gain of six. And that's going to make it fourth down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. The tackle them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. And he's going to have a Bills first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. And yes, everyone, that was the fullback carrying the football. I know it's a dying breed. It's a dying position for a lot of people, but I still think it's valuable and important, especially one who can carry the ball. And you need short yardage. What makes sense? Go to a big body, let him plow forward just like he did there. It's still a big man's game. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Looking to throw. Hostetler. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he's brought down. Now correct me if I'm wrong. You're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. They'll run on first down. Simpson, and the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Overall, I'd have to say that was just really good team defense because, to me, you can't pin that one on the running back. He had no shot there. He had a man in his face immediately. Second and 11. Back to throw. Hostetler. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. As a defense, you want to bounce when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Bills football here as we get you reset. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And the Bengals are going to get it back here just past the 35. All smiles.
Daniels and high fives on that defensive sideline. That interception will cap off what was truly a tremendous performance. Yeah, if you can hold a team to seven points in the NFL, that's the kind of day that you feel really good about. Now, I do know a few guys are going to think to themselves, held them to seven. If we make one more play, could have had our shutout. For the Bengals offense getting set and ready to go again here. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now defensively they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Woods, and he's going to take this one up only to about the 44-yard line. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. third down it's Woods and taking it across midfield and inside the 45 the Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down see if the defense wants to stop it as they take the knee. On second down now. It's Woods, and he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain that time, but it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. Doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. Allen down to a knee, and that should just about do it. So this one in the win column now for the Cincinnati Bengals. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out.